Hey guys, what's up? I am Nikhil from Dopemotions.com and welcome back to this brand new After Effects tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to create a very cool and interesting looking typography animation inside of After Effects. Now you can use this technique and create some really nice text animation for your intro, your promo or some kind of music video titles, animations and stuff like that. Well, you can use it in a number of different ways. So without any further ado, let's jump into After Effects and let's see how to create it. All right, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition. Let's call this title. Set the width to 1920 and height to 1080. That is full HD. And I'll go with 30 FPS. And let's set the duration to 10 seconds long. Hit OK. Then I'm going to select my text tool and type in the text that we want. You can, of course, use any uh, text that you want or any font that you want i'm using a canet extra bold i'll mention the link in the description so you can go ahead and download the exact same font i'll bring down the size to around 200 that looks good and align it into the center also i want to move the anchor point into the center so i can hold control and double click on the pan behind tool so now we have our anchor point is perfectly into the center okay now let's go and animate this. So I'll go to around 10 frames. Go into the properties of the type and click on animate and add an opacity. And then click on add property and add a tracking. So I'll make some room right over here. Let's go into the range selector. Now let's change the offset from 0 to minus 100. Create a keyframe. Go to 1 second and set this to 100. Then go into the advanced properties and set the shape from square to ramp up and increase the ease high and ease low all the way up to 100%. Now I'm going to bring down the opacity to zero and increase the tracking amount to around let's go with 50. So let's see what we have. Now, as you can see, we get this really interesting animation. Now, if I want, I can also change the randomize order to on and it's going to give us. A different look which I personally like but if you want you can turn that off and we have this really nice look let's go with this one looks pretty cool all right and at one second I'm gonna select the text hit s to bring down the scale properties create keyframe set the scale amount to around 150 and then let's go to two seconds and set this back to 100 so basically we have this simple animation now now I'm gonna select the keyframes Hit F9 to easy ease them, go into the graph editor, right click and select edit speed graph. And I'm going to select this point and drag this to the left just like so. So let's see what we have. Pretty nice. Now I can select the text, hit Ctrl D to duplicate it. Go into the properties of the text and delete the animator. And also I'm going to get rid of the keyframe. Now I can move this up. And let's switch this to stroke so I can click on this small icon that you see right over here to switch this to stroke. And I'm going to keep the stroke property or uh, stroke size to 4. Looks good. Let's move this up a bit. And then select the rectangle tool and create a mask like so. Okay, something like that. Hit F and set the feather to 50. That looks good. 50 is a bit too much, I think. Let's go something like 35 or 30 yeah that looks fine so here we have our text now i'm going to change the color of this to something like a yellow and i'm going to hit enter and type in one so that we can call this number one text okay that is looking good we can move this a bit low and um, probably i'm going to select the mask and adjust this so i can use my arrow keys to pull that up just like that so that is looking good. Maybe I'll move this down a bit. Okay. So I can select this, hit control D to duplicate it, pull this up. And this time I'm going to select the mask points and use my arrow keys to pull them up just like so. Just a touch. And then I can manually move this. 
So that is looking good. Now I'm going to create one more copy, hit control D, move this up. And now I'm going to select the points and using my arrow keys, I can pull this up just like so. All right. That is looking good. I'll, I can move this actually a bit like so. So we have this really nice look same way. I'm going to do this for the bottom section as well. So I can um, select this one text or first text hit control D to duplicate it. Let's actually rename this back to one and change the color of this to something different. Maybe something like a blue color and pull this to the bottom. And now I'm going to select the mask. Let's pull that out. Select the top section, top section, and I'm going to pull this down just like that. All right. So now I can place it like so. Now let's do the same exact process. Hit Control D to duplicate it. I'll rename this to two. Pull this down. And select the mask points and using the arrow keys, I'm going to pull that down just like so. Let's duplicate this again, rename this to three, put that down. Let's pull this one down, select the, oh, make sure you select the mask point and using the arrow keys, I'm going to pull that down like so. And as you can see, this is looking pretty cool. Now we can go ahead and animate this. So now to animate this, if I select basically simply, if I just solo this up and select the position and animate the position, you know, the mask is going to animate along with this, but I just want to animate the text and not the mask. I want the mask to stay in the same position, but animate the text. So in normal cases, we would pre comp it and then animate the text and then put this up and, you know, mask the pre comp. But what you can do is actually use the animate property add a position and animate the position without even moving the mask as simple as that. So what I'm going to do is first of all, let's hide the main text. All right, let's go to the very start, select the first text that we have and create a keyframe, move that keyframe to around one second and then pull this down like so. All right. And now basically we have this very nice and simple animation. Now I can select the keyframes, hit F9, go into the graph editor and let's pull this handle to the left like that. So we have a very nice and smooth animation. Now I also want to add a simple tracking animation to this so I can go into the animate and add a tracking. Let's um, set this to around something like, um, let's go with like 25 go into the range selector or basically we can directly animate the tracking. So let's create a keyframe on the tracking. I'm going to move that keyframe forward and set this back to zero. So now I can select the keyframes, hit F9, go into the graph editor and let's create a peak into the center. So we have something like this, which looks pretty cool, right? There we go. Now I can basically just copy paste the animator one and two Hit control C to copy it, move the time indicator at the very start and paste it on the second text. So I'll hit control V and now I'm going to hit U so we can see the keyframes. And now we need to tweak some keyframes here. So I'm going to just go right here and let's pull this right over here. And for the tracking, I can pull this a bit more like around 55 looks good. And there we go. Pretty nice and simple. So I can again select the third text, hit control V, hit U and let's move the position around. So until and unless we don't see the text, so somewhere around there. And then we have the text animation and finally the tracking. Just like so. So around let's go with 90. And there we go. Our first, uh, the top section of our text is ready. And we're going to use the same exact process for the bottom one as well. 
So as we have already copied the animator, I can simply just move my time indicator at the very start, select the first text, hit control V to paste the animator. If I hit U, I can change the position movement to the top and boom, there we go. Simple and easy. Let's select the, uh, the rest of the two text and hit control V, hit U, and then I'll move this out to the top and this one out to the top as well. So we have something like that and boom. Now I want to see the property of the tracking that we added. So this one, I'm going to set this to 55 and this one to 90. Now, if I hit control A and close them up, let's turn on the main text and now I'm going to position them with our first text hitting up just like that. So I'm going to move this around there. Let's go with the proper timing. Okay, that is looking super cool. And there we go, our cool text typography is ready. Now we can go ahead and add that kind of a RGB glitch that you saw, which is pretty simple and I have already showed it many times in my previous tutorial, but let me do it one more time. So I'm going to select all the layers, hit control shift C to pre-compose it. You can call it anything that you want. I'm going to call this animation. Hit OK. Go into effects and preset add and select an effect call and add an effect actually call shift channels control or uh, double click to apply that up and let's set the take from green and take from blue to full off i'm going to duplicate this at control d select the second one set the red to full off and green to green basically hit control d select the third one set the green to full off and just turn on the blue and select the top two layers, hit F4 and change the blending mode to screen, I believe. Yeah. And then I can just move them or displace them by a few frames. Maybe two frames is good. And now, boom, there we have this cool kind of an RGB glitch look, which looks pretty cool, right? And there we go. It's very easy and simple to create. Looks pretty cool. You can do this with number of different text on numbers. You can also create a different countdown if you want for the new year. That is a wrap for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you did, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And this is the last tutorial of 2020. I will see you guys in 2021 with brand new, amazing tutorials. Also, if you guys have any suggestions on what topics should I make my next tutorial on or which topic should I cover next in my videos, do let me know like maybe Photoshop, Illustrator, Cinema 4D, Premiere Pro, anything, just do let me know in the comment section. And I will see you in 2020 with brand new videos. Till then, take care and always stay raw, stay creative. Peace out.